Look at my face. What about this says approachable or friendly? Nothing. It literally pisses me off. It ruins my whole entire day when I'm in public. I clearly look like I don't want to be talked to. Put your boobs away. That'll help. I mean, you could tell this woman is just absolutely miserable, a miserable person. And she's pretty young. So can you imagine how miserable and bitter and unbearable she'll be at 40? This is sad when young women like this are just so hateful and bitter. And I clearly have my headphones in, yet dumb mother choose to take time out of their day to come talk to me. Like, I look like I don't want to be talked to. Oh, let's be very clear. The guy who came up and talked to her wasn't a nine or 10 or she wouldn't be making this video. Women are disgusted when guys under a nine or 10 approach them and try to talk to them. So this is a public service announcement for all the men under nine or 10. The reason she got her boobs out isn't so an eight or seven can talk to her. She got her boobs out for the nines or tens. Why? So does anybody have any solutions for this? Cause clearly arresting face does not work. Can you imagine how annoying that room is right now? It's Thursday night and your sorority has a swap. Like, oh my goodness. I wonder what that room smells like. I mean, come on, get creative in the comment section. On a level from one to 10, how annoying is that room right now? And what does that room smell like? What does that room sound like? <laughs> oh my goodness. They're all the same. What advice would you give to your younger self? You don't gotta be cool, Ray. Sing, do your talent, like. Gangsters and, and dudes and that you think is cool, they wanna see you elevate. So if you do Broadway, you tap, you sing, you dance, just be great. They gonna, they gonna ride with you. You don't gotta be cool. And why would you say that? Because I wanted to be cool. So I got in trouble for no reason. I didn't listen for no reason. And I ended up here, which is good, but that's risky. I wish I would've like sang more. I knew how to tap. I knew how to do all that. All I was doing was tapping ass. And I could have been tap dancing. So instead of tapping ass all day, tap ass a little bit. But if you know how to tap dance, do that majority of the time. And last but not least, what advice would you give to others and young people as well? You gotta care. You gotta care about everything you do, but you gotta not give a f at the same time. Facts. <laughs> I love that last piece of advice because I feel like that's how I am. I mean, I care about the things I care about, but at the same time, I know, you know, none of this really matter. We just, you know, evolved apes on a floating blue rock. So don't get your emotions too involved in most things because most things really don't matter. But yeah, so many people ruin their lives trying to be cool and fit in with the wrong crowd. Being an outsider and just doing your own thing is so underrated. You really develop a better character when you're not being influenced by the crowd. And it's hard to accomplish your goals when you're running behind all these other people all the time. What's so, up, man? How long y'all been together? A year? All right, you love her? <laughs> This nigga trying to play it off. He laughing. Ah, 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 you a funny boy. You ain't answer the question though. You, you the one that slicks your hair back tonight. You got on the button down. Do you love her? It's easy. If you don't, just be honest. Say not yet. You need another drink before you answer that. Uh, you know what's wrong? This is Look, they feel sorry for the woman, but women love men who don't love them. We know that, right? That's why she's with him. If he was some dude kissing her butt all the time, talking about how beautiful she is every three seconds, she wouldn't be with him. But this is a sticky situation <laughs> in front of everybody. I don't know, man. I'm not saying he should have said he loved her, but ooh, this is rough. I will admit this comic is an a-hole for real. Fellas, let me know what you would have did down in the comment section. Listen. Everybody in the room is against you now. All you had to say, listen, all you had to say was, I love her. And every girl would have been like, oh, look at him. Look at him loving his girl. Watch this. Hey, bro, you love her? I love her. Look at that boy. Look at that. You trying to be cool. And look, he, he don't care. He's like, I love her. We can fight over it, homie. And you being shy, like, oh, I need another drink. I don't know. Guess who getting some ass tonight? Uh, yeah, but my life ain't about getting some ass. I'm standing on principle. If I don't love the bitch, I don't love her. <laughs> See, these simp dudes, man, it's always about getting some ass.
They dancing monkeys just to get laid. Nah, I ain't no dancing monkey. <laughs> No, he probably is going to get some dome and some cheeks tonight so she could try to convince him to love her. That's how I work with Chad and Tyrone. That probably helped his case. 